Sabrina Spellman is the titular character from the Archie Comics comic book Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Sabrina was created by writer George Gladia and designed by artist Dan DiCarlo, and she first appeared in Archie's Madhouse No. 22 in October 1962. Creation Sabrina the Teenage Witch debuted in Archie's Madhouse No. 22. Created by writer George Gladia and designed by artist Dan DiCarlo, she first appeared in that humor anthology's lead story, and eventually became one of Archie Comics' major characters, appearing in an animated series and a television sitcom. Gladia recalled in 2007. I think we both envisioned it as a one-shot and were surprised when fans asked for more. We continued to do Sabrina stories off and on in Madhouse until 1969 when we were flabbergasted to hear it was to become an animated, TV series. When it came to naming Sabrina I decided to name her after a woman I recalled from my junior high school days, who was very active in school affairs, and who assigned a number of us to interview prominent people in the media. In addition, the woman's name had a New England ring to it. Some years later I recalled the woman's name was not Sabrina, but actually Sabra Holbrook. Fictional Character Biography Originally, Sabrina was created by Hilda and Zelda after a magic potion turned out wrong. However, it is now said that Sabrina, a half which lives with her two aunts, Hilda and Zelda Spellman, in the fictional town of Greendale, which is located somewhere near Riverdale, the home of Archie Andrews, while her father is away. Also living with the three women as the family pet is Salem Saber Hagen, a witch who's been turned into a cat as punishment for world domination attempts. Most of Sabrina's adventures consist of Sabrina either trying to use her powers in secret to help others a Euro witches generally are not allowed to tell mortals about their abilities or existence a Euro, or dealing with the day-to-day -day trials of being a teenager. A recurring theme in Sabrina's stories is her learning more about the proper use of her powers either through her aunts or from trips to a magical dimension that is the home of various magical mythological creatures, including other witches. Various names are given to this dimension. The late 2000s comics refer to it as the Magic Realm, while the live-action sitcom referred to it as the Other Realm. These adventures even contained moments where Sabrina had to act as superhero on occasion. Sabrina's primary romantic love interest is her mortal boyfriend named Harvey Kinkle who, like nearly all the other mortals in Sabrina's world, is unaware his girlfriend is a witch. Other versions Equals After Life with Archie equals, Sabrina Spellman appears in the first issue of After Life with Archie where she resurrects Hot Dog back from the dead for Jughead. This starts the zombie apocalypse in Riverdale. She later appears in issue 6 where she is forced to become the Bride of Cthulhu. Equals Chilling Adventures of Sabrina equals, Sabrina Spellman is the main character in Chilling Adventures of Sabrina set in the 1960s. In other media. Equals Animated Television equals, Sabrina first appeared in a 1969 segment from Filmation's The Archie Comedy Hour. She later appeared in her own Filmation Half Hour series in 1971. Here she is created by Hilda and Zelda Spellman out of magic potions, as well as the accidental addition of teenage girl stuff, due to being accidentally bumped by Zelda. She is portrayed with blonde hair bound with a pink headband, and blue eyes. She wears a blue dress with a black belt and black shoes. A younger version of Sabrina appeared in Sabrina, the animated series, which was followed by Sabrina, Friends Forever and Sabrina's Secret Life produced by DIC Entertainment. In 2012, Sabrina, Secrets of a Teenage Witch premiered also starring a younger Sabrina. In this version, her eyes are bright green instead of blue. Equals live action television equals. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Equals brief production history equals. The 1996 live action situation comedy version of Sabrina. The Teenage Witch starred actress Melissa Joan Hart, whose mother was one of the show's producers under the Heartbreak Films banner and whose younger sister Emily later provided the character's voice for Sabrina, the animated series. Equals background equals, Sabrina's story takes place in the fictional town of Westbridge, Massachusetts, where she grew up with her two aunts, Hilda and Zelda Spellman, and the talking cat, Salem Saber Hagen. 
Her father, Edward Ted Spellman, was a witch, and her mother, named Diana, is immortal. Her father has at least four sisters, Vesta, seen only once in the first season episode Third Aunt from the Sun, but mentioned many times in Hilda and Zelda, both of whom Sabrina lives with, and Sophia, a witch who lived in Rome and looked identical to Sabrina. Sabrina's evil twin Katrina is not considered one of Sabrina's sisters as the evil twin has different parents from the good twin. Her stepmother, also a witch, is named Gail Kipling Spellman. Sabrina was an only child, but she is one evil twin and a stepbrother. Sabrina's evil twin, named Katrina Spellman, is also a witch. And her younger stepbrother, named Donald, is both a witch and the son of Sabrina's stepmother. Her grandmother, who is nice to Sabrina but overbearing to her aunts, visited once or twice, as did her great aunt Irma, the Spellman family matriarch. Though not evil, Irma is domineeringly powerful. Sabrina also has many other relatives such as cousin Larry, Aunt Beulah, cousin Zaza, Aunt Vesta, and cousin Marigold. Marigold's daughter Amanda is known to torment Sabrina throughout the show, but by the end of the show they become closer and closer. Equals life in the series equals, Sabrina is the protagonist of the series. On her 16th birthday, she learns that she is a half-witch and has magical powers. She also learns that her two aunts are witches themselves and that their black cat Salem is a witch who has been turned into a talking household pet as punishment for attempting worldwide domination. At Westbridge High, she befriends Jenny Kelly and has an on-again, off-again relationship with Harvey Kinkle. She also has to deal with a snobby and headstrong cheerleader, Libby Chesler, who becomes Sabrina's rival for school activities as well as Harvey's affections. In later seasons, Sabrina is enrolled at the fictional Adams College in Boston. After getting her degree in journalism she moves back to her aunt's house with Morgan and Roxy. She took a job with the fictitious Scorch magazine, a music-themed magazine for which she interviews famous artists. Later on, she meets a man named Aaron, who also worked in the music industry, and the two begin dating. Before long, Aaron proposes, and in the finale, the two are set to wed when unforeseen events took place. Sabrina starts to suspect that Aaron was not the one for her, and after trying to connect her soul stone with his, she becomes sure of it. While the stones mostly fit, it is not a perfect fit. She tries to ignore this but finally follows her heart and cancels the marriage at the altar. When she runs out of the church, she finds Harvey waiting for her outside on his motorcycle, holding his soul stone that Amanda, her cousin, had left him. Harvey and Sabrina toss their soul stones aside and ride off together in true finale fashion, not even noticing that the stones fit together perfectly. For most of the series, Sabrina would regularly cast spells that landed her in trouble, requiring her to turn to her aunts for help. In season 5, after moving out of her aunt's house, Sabrina starts thinking of herself as independent, and whenever something goes wrong, she tries to solve the problem on her own. However, she cannot help but get herself into situations beyond her control. During her time at Adams College, as revealed in the episode The Whole Ball of Wax, Sabrina is finally able to meet her mother. However, it is revealed that the witch's council had set a decree that if the two were ever to meet face to face, her mother would turn into a ball of wax. While the decree was never repealed, Sabrina accidentally frees her mother by crying into the ball of wax. However, they could not ever see each other face to face again, the one exception being the series finale in which Hilda volunteered Zelda to be turned into wax until the wedding ended. In the TV movie Sabrina Goes to Rome, Sabrina, accompanied by Salem, travels to Rome, Italy in order to discover the secret of a mysterious antique locket and save her aunt Sophia. While there, she befriends Gwen, an inexperienced British witch, who helps her to solve the mystery of the locket. The sequel, Sabrina, down under, depicts Sabrina and Gwen going on vacation in Australia's Great Barrier Reef and end up trying to save a hidden colony of mer people from water pollution and a scheming marine biologist. Equals Love Life Equals, throughout the series, it is shown that Sabrina has many love interests and boyfriends she has romantic crashes on. Her most prominent one is her first boyfriend, Harvey Dwight Kinkle. 
in seasons 1 to 4 she meets and dates Harvey Kinkel, who becomes her first true love which is proven when Harvey is turned into a frog by her kiss, she takes the test of true love and passes it, proving she truly loves him. Though in the early seasons, they break up but usually make up in the end. However, in an episode of Boy Meets World, The Witches of Pembroke she is seen at the end of the episode on a date with one of the main characters, Eric Matthews. When she was dating Dashiell, another half-witch, she had to choose between both Dashiell and Harvey and, with the help of a spell, she is able to choose Harvey. In season 4, she is romantically attracted to Josh who is her manager at the coffee house where she works. She kisses him and Harvey witnesses it causing them to break up though they get back together and love means having to say you're sorry. They officially end their romantic relationship in the end of an era, but Harvey still appears in the show as a recurring character. Mid-season 5, she meets Kevin, a student from Adams whom she constantly seems to bump into but is officially introduced through her roommate Morgan. Kevin is a guitar player and apparently got inspiration from Sabrina to write songs, even calling her his muse. They only seem to date for one month and ends as Sabrina and Kevin don't seem to find time to define their romantic relationship. In season 6, she starts dating Josh who at first dated Morgan, her roommate. Meanwhile, in the season 6 finale, Sabrina gives up her one true love to save her Aunt Hilda and it happens when during her aunt's wedding she falls to pieces when Harvey tells her he still has strong romantic feelings for her but she does not return them, making him leave for California. Josh says he is taking the photography job he was offered in Prague, and a cute waiter named Luke says goodbye but she is saved when her Aunt Zelda gives up her adult years to save her. In the seventh season, she meets and starts dating Aaron whom she met at the Scorch magazine office. They become engaged but Sabrina's Aunt Irma turns him into a goldfish but Aaron is turned back when Harvey uses Sabrina's magic because he wants to make Sabrina happy. In the series finale, Sabrina prepares for her wedding but stops it when she realizes Aaron is not her soulmate and she runs off with Harvey, her soulmate and first true love at 12.36, the time they first met seven years ago. References